Open heavens on the go. Sunday, September 18th, 2022. Topic. Benefits of Witnessing, Part 3. Memory Verse, Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Bible reading, Romans 8, 19-23. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirits, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. The message. Every athlete on the racetrack is always looking forward to reaching the finish line. The heavenly race is not a sprint, but a marathon. We have been looking forward to the coming of Christ now for more than 2,000 years. I, in particular, have been running this race for almost 50 years now, and I'm still running. I don't know how long you have been running, but I am quite sure that you are looking forward earnestly to the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, there is a way you can make him return quickly, sharing the gospel of Christ and winning souls into the kingdom of God. Matthew 24, 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. The Bible reading for today says that all children of God are waiting earnestly for that day when we will be transformed and reign with our Father in heaven. But the only way to hasten the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is to preach the gospel. Until people who have not heard the gospel hear it, Jesus will not come. If you want him to return quickly so that you can reign with him in paradise, that is, of course, if you are sure that you will make it to heaven, then you will preach the gospel. I am really looking forward to his return, so I will win souls even in the most remote parts of the world. I have been to a country to win souls where there were so few in the whole country. Everybody knew one another. Their prison inmates were allowed to go home on weekends to visit their families and come back the next Monday. That is how small the county is. I will go anywhere. As long as there is someone there, who will hear about Christ and can become saved, I am ready to go. Now, it may amaze some people that Jesus has not come yet because you think the whole world has heard about him. I was preaching to a group, a group of ambassadors about God one day. After preaching for more than 30 minutes, one of them asked, What is God? I realized then, that he didn't understand all that I had been saying since. There are still people out there who haven't heard about Christ and we will keep waiting for his coming if we don't go out there to preach to them. Until they hear, he will not return. Thus, we must reach the whole world for him if we want him to return soon. Action point. 
look for new people to tell about Jesus Christ. Bible reading in one year, Ezekiel 35 to 37. Him for today, when we walk with the Lord. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.